Hello, boys and girls, my name is Hotsusti and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included. Where last time we have built this Draco farm and as you can see they are thriving and we even have some glossy Dracos uh, in there uh, from which we uh, got a bit of plastic that I put to good use uh, to create fancy bedrooms and by the shading of the uh, beds, the pots, uh, you can see we now have uh, eight duplicates. You can also see it up here uh, where last time we had, I think, we finished off with, with five. So uh, let's see if uh, we have some other good ones in here. Um, We have one more free bed, so uh, I think we can we can take Lyra and um, go there, and we also have expanded our uh, uh, power setup, and we have uh, atmosphere dock here. Uh, we're at least for the for the moment uh, We uh, this allow the uh, new duplicates to go through because they are just too slow in Atmosuits docks so Here on this side then we uh, try to expand a bit the uh, the power setup so we can have additional uh, power up here because I plan out a bit of uh, automation here so we can pick up uh, eggshells and uh, uh, fish automatically here uh, and uh, deliver that throughout the base which is not finished by any means down here um, we are using the uh, polluted water to grow a bit of uh, uh, pepper and currently we just have planted one um, because we don't need more and uh, it was really a hassle to uh, to heat this room up to temperature where even one can grow and I think that's it ah yeah also went a bit more exploring up here we have a second natural gas geyser uh, other than that down here somewhere that's a small volcano and down here we are in the oil territory where we try to uh, to breach into uh, and that will open whole new possibilities especially for the for the petroleum generators uh, we will have to see uh, how and what we're doing with that um, within the record farm we have planted mealwood on on natural um, soil um, which for for which we use the uh, uh, the pips and I think today we want to focus a bit more on pips to create pip form because uh, in this series uh, we want to ranch all the animals uh, maybe not all variants but all the animals and when we look here um, what they what they need um, uh, temperature range uh, they need food can be arbitrary or bomb uh, simul reads and they're producing dirt uh, and dirt of course is is very handy um, and I think we will not go in the direction of, of arbitraries uh, the, the trees we could use for wood and then uh, uh, 
create some petroleum out of that, or not petroleum, ethanol, that we can then burn. But <coughs> we did something similar last time, uh, so uh, we don't have to, to repeat that. Uh, so let's set up uh, a farm in here and basically this or maybe let's not yet put in the, the roof there because maybe we want to We have to put in the roof because even if we want to have a second uh, 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 pip form up here, it would be would be too close. So we will do this. We will dig out this space, and then we will have uh, three planting space, three non-planting space. Um, and then repeat that. So, that's the three planting spaces. And then here on this side, I think there we will not have them all going. that pips can plant there um, and we need here we need create a drop off Put that here in the front and in here we will put in seeds for the here we go. And I think down here we have In there, so we will remove the thimble reeds from there. Um, and here we want to have these two pips. Um, we don't want to have these in here. And that should be good to go. The room is now all cleaned up and ready to go and I think to the first thing we need to do is actually a, a plant here and for that we will limit to one pip to do the planting uh, so it's it's easier and let's take you and with that as, as we have seen uh, in the in the Draco form that takes a while until this happens and the important thing uh, I made it easy here it's just one layer so we will plant from right to left um, here we saw if we have multiple layers uh, spacing is important and we have to go from top right to bottom left so on here we uh, we, uh, we have it easy um, and uh, we can we can have one pip in here to do the planting which should happen um, pretty soon um, and once everything is planted we then can actually add more pips and maybe um, we should just have this like that 
we don't need the storage bin anymore uh, and uh, then it's just a matter of time down here we can see we have also some stone hatches and maybe even sometime in between we might have some sage hatches uh, and stone hatches are slightly better than the normal hatches because they can um, uh, feed on certain rock type it could also uh, feed on ore uh, igneous rock they can eat and igneous rock is at least in theory uh, we can produce that with with lava so that's a renewable source and up here uh, there the goal is to hook this transformer up to, uh, to this power line here so we can have the, uh, the shipping uh, and we want to have shipping of the, the food of the, the fish, the fillet uh, in here and the eggshells down here so everything is close to to where it needs to be and down here on this side uh, I've dug out the area a bit more uh, so it's not a, a one wide space um, uh, because what we want to have is the, the carbon dioxide to sink to the low level and currently you can see we have polluted oxygen down here which is not really what we want to have but if we have a wider corridor chimney basically going up then the two uh, gases can can mix and slowly the, the polluted oxygen will uh, trickle up there uh, and the carbon dioxide will go down. All the timber reed now is planted by our pips so we can actually increase this to 20 also then they will be crammed and we had a bit of a problem i think with this one because they did not want to plant it and the problem was that we had a potted plant there which prevented the whole thing so after unrooting that uh, everything else could be planted and now we can plant that one again and now we can go about and wrangle up all the pips that we can find here. Um, have any down there? I don't think so. And as you can see, uh, we already have two pips in there. We have one egg in here. Um, so they should really thrive in there and they're producing oh we have two two eggs so uh, that's good and then here on this side I have started with uh, with a metal refinery um, eventually that one will break but the goal is uh, let's uh, create a bit of uh, iron and out of iron then a bit of steel so we can have a proper uh, steel set up uh, where we also can then do uh, cooling um, probably we need a bit more than than that 20 and 40 and I would guess this will break at some point because uh, uh, what we are doing here is we're taking the, the water from there and feed it in here. But 
currently we cannot cool the water enough so uh, eventually the, the water um, uh, heats up and we need to occasionally turn this off um, so that the water should flow into into our farm um, why does that not work as intended? We will figure that out, but uh, not in this episode, but probably until next time, where hopefully we will have uh, enough steel uh, in order to create a more permanent setup. Down here, we also did a bit more exploring, and from what I can see, we have one oil reservoir there, and two down here, uh, nice and close by, so that should be a good source for our oil. Also have a bit of uh, a larger oil reservoir there on the side, and slowly but surely, uh, we get carbon dioxide down here and the uh, polluted oxygen up there. So in due time we will have that sorted out as well. Alright then, another ranch uh, checked off of our list. And uh, I will have to think about what to do next. So until then, goodbye.